Hello everybody, this is our final installment on our long playlist. This is uh, game number 38 in the win with the Sicilian. Like I always say, just check the playlist. I have covered all the major variations in the closed Sicilian. So if you want to avoid the Dragon Theory and the Night Off Theory, uh, come and play the closed Sicilian. Alright. Uh, our last uh, few videos, we were looking at the move, the second move for black to e6. And uh, in our final chapter, we are going to be looking at one of the uh, obscure lines. And we are going to be looking at one game um, where white doesn't even start the game with knight c3. And this game is between uh, Grandmaster Nigel Short. And uh, Johan uh, Hartarsson. And this is a uh, game took place in Reykjavik, uh, 1990. Okay, so E4 from short, C5, and G3. This is uh, the move that we're talking about. Now, <clears throat> to make a long story short, G3 uh, has similar ideas to systems that begin uh with uh sorry about that with knight f3 and and basically you're trying to extract more information and you're also trying to bluff your opponent all right you're trying to uh get them to to go into certain move orders that they may uh not normally employ when facing the closed sicilian so whether you play g3 here or you play knight f3, you know, because normally, uh, just to give you a quick, you know, just to give you a quick example, like, if somebody plays a closed Sicilian and they have a certain, you know, line they want to get to, say for instance, say e4, c5, knight c3, knight c6, g3, g6, bishop g2, bishop g7, d3, e6, and let's use this line, bishop e3. And this is a good line, by the way, uh, to start out with in the closed Sicilian. Again, if you're interested in the opening, just check my playlist. Everything is broken down according to the uh, main line uh, and major variations. So, for example, right, you have uh, Black's response here because... Um, you already indicated on move two with knight c3 you were going in the close Sicilian and this is the normal setup they like to employ with the Fianchetto bishop here and um you know play moves like e6 and perhaps d6 knight here etc all right because white has shown his hand early in the game however if you play moves like e4 c5 and then you go here well Black might think you're just going into an open Sicilian. Now, instead of playing knight c6 here, perhaps he tries to go into a con variation, right? Or plays d6. Something, right? Something that he normally wouldn't play. And then you can play knight c3. So... G3 has the same same idea in that you were kind of bluffing uh, your opponent a little bit in this situation. Now, of course, you're not claiming an advantage. <laughs> you're just you're planning on outplaying or what I like to call Magnus Carlson cautioning your opponent. Right? You're gonna get an equal position. Everybody's gonna think it's a draw, and then next thing you know, you're gonna be winning. So, of course, with a move like g3, you're allowing the move d5 just straight away. Because you're not, again, you're not playing the move knight c3. So, if you're comfortable with that and have no problem, then feel f free to play the move g3. Alright. So, the purpose of g3 is you're disguising your true intentions. Okay. So, and since you're disguising your true intentions as white... It's more difficult for black to choose a formation that, uh, you know, will suit his needs. So, let's get back into the game. After g3, 
D5 was played. And it's a classical move. Okay. Re re uh, actually recommended by world champion Max uh, Irva. D5. E takes. Queen takes just straightforward classical development. Rook is attacked. Knight f3. Bishop g4. Bishop g2. Okay. And now. Queen e6. The reason why the, the queen checks is because since the queen is a bit exposed, the queen is just trying to uh, get itself out of uh, harm's way to avoid the later, um, you know, stalking by the, the white pieces. Right. Now, king f1 by Nigel Short. Of course, not queen. Here, I mean, he doesn't want to go into the end game right away. And knight c6. Another natural move is just getting rid of these bit the bishops real quick and trying to exploit the the weak light squares. But knight c6 seems okay. H3, bishop to h5, and now knight c3. Knight f6, d3, and now queen d7, a4. Okay. e6, a5, and rook c8, g4, bishop g6. Knight h4, and now again you can see the value of the idea earlier of just simply playing bishop to h3. Okay, because it seems like white's bishop is stronger than the black bishop and black's light square bishop. Bishop e7, and now the bishop is chopped off, and Nigel is gaining space. All right, so why does black castle? Well, black is saying, "Hey, white's king is on f one you know i can i there's no reason why I should fear the advance of of these on uh, coming pawns. Nigel marches on h five g takes h five maybe a little a little too ambitious for black. <laughs> Um, I guess he's expecting this and then, you know, kind of like not really, uh, worry, worrying about, uh, too much. All right. However, after the move G5, there's a lot of, uh, trouble right here. Okay. Because now this knight is attacked and what's going on with the, the H file? How is that going to be? Uh, defend it properly. Knight g4. Rook takes uh, uh, h5. f5. Opening the position. Okay. Now, the knight is hanging, so the knight must capture. Tempo on the rook. Rook drops back to h3. And now, knight to d4. And just to take stock here, notice how we have a kind of a typical um, kingside attack, right, in this opening. However, it was uh, via a roundabout method with G3 and um, kind of like, a, you know, like a ninja, kind of just disguising the intentions. And now you look at the position at move 20 and you see... The, uh, you know, white's pieces poised to uh, attack on the king side. Now. Knight e4. Knight f5. Knight g5. And this is getting a little dangerous. See the uh, pieces hovering around the king like that. That's bad news. g6. And now c3. 
Again, typical motifs in the closed Sicilian with the taking possession of the D4 square. Okay, so now black can't, you know, use that anymore as an outpost. All right. And what's fascinating to me about this game is just the, you know, simplistic play from uh, white has caused black to go astray. And so many problems have uh, caused now. Uh, black has really got to be careful at this point. Short goes into an end game. And now his king is excellently placed for the ending. Knight takes. Rook F E8. And now Rook takes D3. So that dangerous pawn is gone. And we can see white is up a pawn. Okay. Now black has relieved the pressure. Right. There's this big attack on the king side. But as usual. What happens many times. Uh, after you withstand a big attack like that. Is you end up with an inferior uh end game and so this is uh this is what happens not only is short up an extra pawn but he also has the bishop here bishop d6 and now simplification occurs knight d4 knight d4 rook takes d4 and now bishop c5 and simply rook c4 and uh black did not want to finish the game off okay so that is it for our uh closed sicilian video series i hope you enjoyed that there's a lot of games i think it's like 38 games uh take your time it's uh it's on youtube now you know for posterity so you can look at it a year from now you know as long as youtube is up as long as these videos you know uh you know are in cyberspace or whatever uh, you can check them out. Um, again, please like and subscribe, comment. Check the links below. Uh, there's a book there that this uh, whole video series was based on. Uh, so check that out, you know, on Amazon. Um, there's some DVD links. Please donate if this this has been, you know, a, you know, a blessing uh, for you. And, uh, you know, these lessons are good for you. You know, even like a dollar or, you know, a small amount or a large amount, you know. Whatever, you know, is on your heart, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, any questions about this opening, feel free to leave them in the uh, comment box, and I'll get uh, right back to you as soon as possible. Um, in closing, I just want to just reiterate certain points. Again, G3 is a like a disguise type move. There's nothing special about the move. You're just disguising uh, your motives. And oftentimes you're trying to get uh, black out of his normal defenses and normal comfort zone in close Sicilian. However, be ready to give up the uh, move D5 right away. If you have no problem with that, then it should be all right. So be prepared to go in a slightly unorthodox position. But if you look at this position, white has no pawn weakness. And um, as long as he can keep his king safe, he will be all right. Again, this is one of those positions where you're simply looking to outplay your opponent. And this is what happened. You know, just speeding through, summarizing. And all of a sudden, and looking in hindsight, maybe Castling was a little too ambitious here. But definitely this move, G takes H5, um, might have been too ambitious also. G5, the star move of the game. H5 gets opened up. There's a lot of danger in the position. And of course, in order for Black to alleviate the pressure, he winds up going into an inferior ending right here. Of course, Nigel's king is on F1, which is great for the ending. He's ready to um, enter if he has to. And now, Nigel's just one point, a pawn up and a bishop here. And... Um, or Tarson did not want to uh, see any more and resigned. So I hope you enjoyed the series as much as I did. My suggestion, again, if you want to learn this opening, is go to the uh, beginning of the playlist and look through the variations. Pick one variation and just watch those series of videos. Don't try to do all the variations. You'll just, 
you know, get frustrated, you won't remember as much. Just focus on one line, maybe six bishop e3 or six f4 or six knight h3. Just find something, stick with it, and uh, start playing some blitz. Watch the video and then start playing some blitz games. One minute, two minute, three minute games. Just get a feel, an uh, instinctive feel for the uh, tactics and uh, general motifs in the position. Watch the video again. Then play a little longer game, maybe a 10 minute game, 15 minute game. Watch the video again. You know, and next thing you know, you'll be, uh, you join a family of the close Sicilian players. So with that, uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. All suggestions are uh, welcome. So I look forward to uh, doing this again. I enjoyed myself and I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll see you soon.